All right, hey, what's up, guys? A uh, quick video. If you have the same problem, this video probably is gonna save you at least like a two thousand uh, dollars. Last fall, this track just stopped working. You know, out of a blue, when you push the handle, it was doing nothing. None of the whining, none of the clanking, or none of the jerking, none of that. So it just happened out of a blue. You know, I never had a problem before this. You know, it wasn't slowing down, you know, none of that. So uh, the question was, you know, if my pump went out or my drive motor went out. So this video would help you to diagnose it. So first, you know, the, we have to get the pump out of the way. So to diagnose the pump, uh, the, you're gonna need a cap like that, you know, the extension, which you can buy it from Menards. Here's the part numbers. This thing is like a garden hose, you know, adapter, and then this thing like a pipe cap, you know, and you can make it like two of these, you know, you're gonna need two of them. And and then the, what you need to do is, is just follow this two big ass hoses right here. You know, right here, you know, of course you need to lift the cab up, you know, and you're gonna see this two hoses connected to the pump. So just uh, disconnect those two okay and just plug those up with this okay with this and then start your engine and then push the handle to go if you hear you know if you hear your engine bogging out then that means you know your pump is good okay so the if you push the handle and it does nothing then the most likely you know your pump is failed okay so uh my case you know i did that you know and i could hear it you know that the engine was uh, bogging out, which told me, you know, that my pump is good. So then I decided to go after drive motor. Uh, drive motor is here. Uh, by the way, you know, I've never done this before. You know, this is my first time. So that's why I don't even know the name of all of this crap. Uh, when I called the dealership, they said they have brand new ones for $4,300. Or you can get a remanufactured one from bobcat also he was like three thousand some dollars i'm like yeah no then i found it online for fifteen hundred dollars plus four hundred dollars shipping but it was just taking too long because they said turnaround time up to week to whatever you know 15 uh week to week and a half you know turnaround time i'm like no you know i cannot wait that long so the finally, you know, I decided to take it apart, you know, to see, you know, if I'm going to find some kind of a blown gasket or something like that. So I took it apart and then the dealership said, you know, that in most cases, you know, this bearing, there is a big ass bearing here. You know, this is the front part, by the way, seizes up, but mine actually great. I can tell, you know, it looks great. And then uh, then I watched a few videos where where the people said this rollers here on this thing gets chewed up. You know, I saw it, it just looks nasty. You know, this thing just gets chewed up and and this part actually gets also chewed up, you know, when your rollers fail. So, but mine looks like brand new. You know, the fluid is clean, you can see it. So, you know, everything was great. Then, then I came on this side. So that this is where your pressure actually generates, okay? So it comes through fluid comes through this thing you know and it just then uh, generates a lot of pressure in there and then and then that's how your tracks actually spin then uh, uh, let me show you my problem I found it like that let me show you so that there is a big ass plug here okay right here right here but the book doesn't tell you, you know, there is a two plugs in there, right? You know, it doesn't look like there is two. But when you take this one, then you're going to see this one inside all the way in there. And then, and then there's like a fluid passage ports in there. As you can see a bunch of them. Uh, so in my case, this thing just came loose. I have no idea how, you know, don't ask me how. You know, when I flipped this case over, you know, I could hear, you know, there's something going on inside. You know, it was, let me, 
Let me put this back, you know, so you can hear it exactly what I heard. So that this is what I heard, and I'm like, what the hell? So that this side, you know, there's nothing inside, so there's nothing left. I'm like, what the hell is making that noise, you know? Then I, you know, decided to take this plug, and I'm looking at it inside, and it's just hitting just like that inside. So it just decides to, you know, come loose. Uh, so what was happening is, you know, that this is the big two hoses connect here, and and the fluid comes in here and uh, when you don't have this cap you know it was just bypassing the fluid okay so it was just coming in from this side and then there was no plug of course you know because it came out and it was just bypassing the fluid that's why you know i wasn't getting any pressure you know it wasn't making any noise or nothing so the thing god you know i like, decided to take it apart you know because this thing what at least like two grand, you know, because with the shipping, you know, and uh, you can get that remanufactured one, 1500. So, but this motor was in great condition. Thank God I didn't send it out, you know, because I would have sent out perfectly good motor to them, you know, just to get, you know, this Bobcat moving. So when you start it, you know, if you push the handle, it doesn't make any noise. It doesn't move. It doesn't jerk or none of that. Most likely, you know, your problem is this plug right here. So to hope, you know, that this will help you guys. And so you guys don't have to go through this nightmare, you know, because it took me a month, okay, to get to this point. So to hopefully, you know, this will actually save you money and time. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.